All right, so what's been removed from the spark? Mavic? Yeah, from the map. Uh, what's been removed from the map of me that was in the spark? Let me take off my drone first. I'm thinking about getting a beautiful camera. All right. So, um, yeah, I think I have to. I I, I haven't given you footage. So this is a time lapse. Let me first set up my time lapse. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna set up. Alright, so I'm gonna start talking about it. Um personally, um I don't like the fact that it's like more of a um lightweight sort of make your own drone. I don't like that they have the snap on adapters. Those snap on adapters are ugly. And I don't know why you would want bricks on your drone. Why? Also that light just looks like an old TV. <laughs> Seriously, why? No, no, it's a screen. It's a screen. It's a screen actually. It's not a screen. No, it's a screen. It's actually a screen. It is. It's a light. You want to look it up? Alright, he's gonna start recording. I'm pretty sure it's a light. It's a light, I'll put it. I'm fairly sure it's a screen. I'm checking store. I'm checking store. But a, a, a notable omission though no front collision. No front collision, no back. Yeah, collision. no no sensors other than bottom. Uh, that's I'm, I'm, not I'm, great. I'm not I'm not a fan of that, but like the Mavic Mini does have a very. is faster though. Yeah, so it's I fast. mean. It's light. It's really, it's really fast, so I mean, I mean it's fast I'm not really going to complain about that, just because it, it gets a, it's probably, I think it gets as much speed as a Mavic Air. Yeah, he's going to, it's probably sure it's a lot. Anyway, I'm checking right now. A lot of people seem to like it, but personally, I don't like the, I don't personally like it, the snap. I, I don't like the light, but I know some people have been liking the the um, one where it's a where it um, the the sticker ones. The stickers, I hate the markers. And LED displays. Yeah, LED. Yeah, display. Wait. What? Yeah, it says LED displays. It's in. A, it's a display. It's a display. We have fact checked Henry on this one. Excuse me, what the fr- It's, it's, I'm not joking. It is a display. The only it reason like I, it's, it's, it, yeah, it looks like an old TV. What? Search it up, it looks like an old TV. It looks like something I would like pull out of my grandma's Hold basement up. or something. I need to see this in action. There's no yeah, 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 no, I've seen it in action. Yeah, I think there's a CNET video on it. Yeah, yeah there's a CNET video where it's where they use the screen in action, but I have actually data though. Oh, Seriously, the what? It, it, it's a screen. You can like write stuff and display stuff. That is stupid. Why would they do that? Also, um, the geofencing has not changed. So for all y'all who are planning on buying it, geofencing has not changed. It, it's so, not like it doesn't allow you anymore. I mean, if you no, it still it still blocks you. So the geofencing is the same for all of you who are wondering, because DJI has not changed. If you don't know, the magic number of 249 per, um, prevents some geofencing. Um, makes it uh, at 250 or above, some geofencing is enforced, but below some geofencing is not. DJI has not changed their geofencing to reflect those changes. So you have the same geofencing. Just for all of you watching, if you're wondering, yep, that's a thing. But um, really, for for this drone, also, I mean, weight's also a big thing that they're advertising. More holes in the drone, um, not as much uh, sturdiness to it, not a removable battery. Um, I mean, that's no. bad. I don't like that. Bad. Uh, it's the same price, but um, as a uh, same launch price, though it does come with a controller with the um, base unit, which is good. Definitely an improvement there, but um, right now if you're buying a, a Spark Use, it's cheaper to buy a used Spark than it is to buy a used Mavic. Uh, not used Mavic, yeah, new Mavic. No, it's, so, it's the same price. 
Um, no, it's a bit cheaper for the Spark. Oh, it seems by off brand eBay or something. Yeah. But it's cheaper if you buy, like, a used Spark off eBay or something like that. But remember that, you know, the Spark has a lower quality camera, two axis two gimbal, gimbal. Two axis gimbal. Medic Mini has three axis gimbal. Um, I raise. So, my one problem with the whole, you know, 250 grams argument is I know the FAA is planning to release a scheme where you do have to pass a knowledge test. I'm not sure how it's going to work and if they're going to age limit it or not. But I think the whole, the whole flaw with this whole, you know, pass, you know, this whole idea is the registration isn't that expensive. And if you even add one thing onto your drone, or let's say you get a, uh, some sand caught on it, it's no longer 249. You know, the problem with the drone is they're so close to the limit, one gram puts it over. And one gram isn't a lot. No. One, one gram is not a lot at all. You know, this, this isn't a lot of weight. If I were to fly this, I mean, I, I definitely agree with that. In the uh, sand, you know, I would definitely... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that stuff could get in, could actually... The stickers and the... Uh, yeah, yeah, and, the, and the, even the light would put it over. Put it over. So you would, need, you would need registration anyways, or pass the knowledge test in Canada and all that stuff. You know, you know they're, adver they're advertising this as an everyday fly cam, you don't have to register. But at the end of the day, that's false. That is false you know, advertising so, yeah. right there. That is false advertising right there. Realistically, you will have to register the drone. You fly it in sand, you've already got the gram. You actually get something lodged in the drone, you've got a gram. You know, it's super easy to gain one gram of weight. You know, if your drone was sand coated, my guess is that's one gram right there. I mean, and you know, they're so close to the limit that, you know, you're gonna have to register it if you put any accessories on it. My guess is you put the sticker on, over a gram, you know? So DJI is saying like, oh, it's always gonna be over, you're not gonna have to register it. But in all realistic, if we're being realistic, you don't have to register it if you keep your drone clean, don't get anything inside it, and don't put any accessories on it, which kind of defeats the purpose of the accessories. Because many of people have weighed the drone and have seen it is 249 exactly, based with the back. So, you know, that's not good. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, I yeah that's the problem. It's, there's so close to the limit, and this is a warning to everyone in Canada, uh, notably Canada, United States, and Great Britain, the fines for not registering are expensive compared to the registration. Register your drone, and if you're in Canada, get the certificate. The certificate test costs $10, and you have to register your drone. I'm not sure how much that costs, but I just know the test costs 10 you know, that isn't a lot of money, especially compared to the fines you would receive for flying it without re proper registration or proper anything. Because if someone measures your drone, brings out a scale, and it's not the, and it's over the two, it's 250 or over, that's not good. You're not gonna have a fun time, especially in Canada, because I know in Canada, the fines for a, a um a residential operation a non-commercial operation is one thousand and if it's commercial it's five thousand dollars that's a lot of money compared to paying ten which is one percent of that fine to take a test granted yes it's harder and you may not pass that test but you know that's easier than having to pay a thousand dollars each time they catch you buying your drone Add. You know, Mavic Mavic Mini. I like the drone concept, but I, I like the drone. The drone, I think, is a good drone. You know, it's lightweight, it's fast. You know, I think it. I think it checks a lot of boxes. You know, you know, it checks a lot of boxes, and I think it does a good job of, of you know, making a drone that is really good. But I think at the end of the day, the drone fails in the one category it's trying to be sold on. An everyday fly cam, you don't have to register. Because you're gonna have to register it. You know, it's super close to the limit. No one's brought up this point, but 
you know, the base drone. I'm sure if it's two grand. It's above two fifty. What? No, no, it's two fifty or there's a four of that. It's two fifty or or above. It might be above two fifty, but even two grams is not that much. Still, I know I wouldn't risk it because if it's two fifty point oh oh one, that's over two fifty. You know, it depends on the precision of their scale. But still, you don't have to raise that much weight in order for it to be 250. If their scale, scale isn't properly calibrated, you may be over 250. I would rather take the protections that's afforded by registering your drone than not take the protections and risk it. Because quite frankly, there's so much stuff that can cause it to gain one gram on the weight, you know, so people who call you out, you know, if they weigh it, because I've never been called out, but you know, if they weigh it, you may be in trouble. And I don't want to be the guy who's in trouble. Because if I see someone with a Mavic Mini fly it and, it and they get in trouble, I feel no remorse for them. Because they should have known one gram isn't that much, not that much weight. Register your drone. No review is talking about this, but register your Mavic Mini. It will most likely gain a gram sometime. And not have protection against fines and anything. I mean, I'm gonna agree with that. Hold on, Connor.